coming to bed, Raggles. You've been looking through the telescope for ages. I'm gazing at all the stars. Look, you can see them. Oh, wow. Look at that. What is it, Raggles? <gasps> A shooting star. <gasps> wow, that was amazing. Do you think anyone else saw them? We'll find out in the morning. Turn and so bright, absolutely magical. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Raggles. Did you see the shooting stars? Yes, they were beautiful, weren't they? I was asleep, so I missed them. You can look at them in my book instead. Thanks, Raggles. Maybe they'll come back tonight. Where do shooting stars go? Go? Well, they, um, they. Uh, do you know, Oakley? <coughs> well, sometimes shooting stars just zoom far off into space, and sometimes they fall to Earth. You mean they could have fallen down here? I suppose so. Hey, Will, can I have a go with your ball? My ball? OK. Oh! Watch out, Manny! Oh! Oh! I'm okay, I'm okay. Maybe you need a few lessons in the art of super slick ball skills. Hey, where's Holly? Oh, she was here a minute ago. I hope she isn't feeling too sad about missing the shooting stars. She was the only one not to see them. <gasps> Why don't we all stay up and look for more shooting stars tonight? <laughs> yeah, wicked idea. <laughs> oh, oh. Perfect. There you are, Holly. Listen, don't look at what we're doing, OK? We're planning a surprise for you. Ooh, and I'm planning a surprise for you. See you later. I'm going to look for the stars that fell down from the sky last night. Here you are. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about my ball practice? Oh, yes. Uh, catch! Oh, oh! I think my feathers are slippery. <laughs> With practice, you'll learn to catch, Manny. <laughs> One day. Hmm. It says here that up close, stars aren't really star-shaped at all. <gasps> Oh, it's just the sunshine. Hmm. Oh. oh, just leaves. down from the sky last night. Are you sure they're shooting stars, Holly? Yes. Oakley said sometimes they fall down to Earth. But I'm a bit worried their light is going out. Where do you think I should keep them? Hmm. Stars normally live in the sky. Then we've got to put them back. Back in the sky? Hmm. How are we going to do that? Ready with the first star, Holly? Hmm. Uh, push! Uh. Uh. Here goes! Uh-oh! Well caught, Will! Whoa! What's this? Holly found the shooting stars we saw last night. We're trying to get them back up into the sky. 
Hmm. You're going to need something much more powerful than a swing. Uh, 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 anyone want to play catch? Dinner! Meet the Star Launcher! Ooh. Let's take it to the playground and try it out. <sighs> Ready? And five, four, three, two, one! Blast Not high enough. <gasps> My stars. Huh? What was that? <laughs> We're under attack. Ooh, that tickles. <laughs> My stars. Are they all right? They look all right. Stars? But it's not night time yet. <gasps> They're the shooting stars from last night, Big Bear. Holly found them. And we were trying to get them back into the sky. Ah! <laughs> I suppose they do glow like stars. What do you mean, like stars? They are stars. I'm afraid not, Holly. But there's something just as special. These are chrysalises. Chrysalis... What? Chrysalises? You mean the funny houses caterpillars make? Before they turn into butterflies. And not just butterflies. Caterpillars can turn into all kinds of flying creatures. Oh, when will they hatch? We can't be sure, but until they do, maybe we should put them back in my branches. Stand back. I'm the best person for this job. <sighs> so they really, really aren't stars. Should we tell Holly about her star surprise? <laughs> Thanks, everyone. This is a great surprise. Do you think there will be more shooting stars tonight, Rosie? I hope so, Raggles. I have to see one this time. Hey, Manny, do you want to play? No, thanks, Will. I don't think birds are meant to play catch. <gasps> Look! <gasps> the star things are hatching! What are they? Fluffy bugs. Wow. Why are they wobbling about? They've got to learn how to fly. Watch out! It's all right, little fella. I've got you. Oh, I caught it. Did you see that? I can catch. Oh, great skills, Manny. I knew you could do it. They're even more amazing than shooting stars. Thanks, everyone. Holly? Star, what kind of star would you be? Um, one that stays in the sky twinkling. Don't you think you'd get bored? I think I'd be a shooting star. Or maybe a bouncing star. A bouncing star? Do they have those? I'd be a really good bouncing star. Look, boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Maybe you could be a sleepy star, Raggles. Oh, I suppose so. <laughs> oh, no, it's no good. What's the matter, Raggles? I'm trying to get my skimmer down. 
but I can't reach. It's too high up. Here, let me do it. Thanks, Rosie. I wish I were big and tall like you. You are growing. Look, that's how little you were, and that's how tall you are now. Hmm. Have I grown any more? <laughs> Not since I checked yesterday, Raggles. Oh. Come on, let's go and play. if you like. Wow! Thanks, Will. Hola, everybody. Hello, Hello Archie. Archie. Hey, Raggles. I like your cap. Will lent it to me. Oh, I wish I had a cap like that to keep the sun out of my eyes. But, oh, chameleons do not usually wear clothes. I don't see why not. I can make you a cap. You could? Just like this one. Exactly the same, only smaller. It won't take me long. Fantastico! Thank you, Holly. Hey, catch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do still wish I were taller, though. But I have an idea how I can be. Come with me, Rosie. Raggles, you are much taller now. I know. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? Uh, I suppose so. I love being tall. I can see so much more from up here. <laughs> Look out! Walking on stilts isn't the best way to become taller. No, you could be right. <gasps> but I've got another idea. <sighs> what are you doing? I'm stretching to make myself taller. <sighs> So, what do you think, Bluebird? Oh, you're just as short as you always are. Oh, I was hoping to be taller. What you need is some magic. I know just the spell. Really? Yes! <laughs> Let's measure your height now. Now, close your eyes. <laughs> Alakazama Kazama Kazor. Make my friend Raggles ever so tall. Ooh, I think I can feel it working. Am I taller? Am I? No. I mean, uh, not yet. It's a, a slow acting spell. You just have to wait. Hmm. I think I need help from someone who is already very tall and big. He might have some top tips. Oh. What do you think of Archie's cap? That's wonderful, Holly. You are clever. It looks just like Will's, only smaller. Archie will love it. Thanks, Rosie. I do hope so. I was about to go and see Oakley. Do you want to come? OK. I'll leave the cap here and take it to Archie later. <laughs> Will's cap. I'll try it on, if the cap fits. Mm -hmm. It does not fit, but I bet I still look cool like Will. 
You look... Hello? Hello? Did someone turn the lights out? Big Bear, how did you get to be so... well, big? I don't know, Raggles. Maybe it's because I eat lots of healthy green things like spinach and broccoli. <laughs> oh, would you like some? Oh, yes, please. Mm. Milk? Oh, yes, thank you. Maybe you're so tall because you drink your milk from a tall glass. Maybe. This should work. <laughs> First of all, I was ever so small Couldn't see over the lowest of walls But my friends all heard my call Now I'm gonna be big and tall <laughs> Hello? Anyone home? Rosie? Oh, I was wondering where Will's cap had got to Huh? This doesn't seem to fit anymore. <gasps> I'm enormous. I must be. Yay! I've grown! Rosie! Rosie! Look, look! I've turned into a giant! See how small Will's cap looks now? It must have been the stretching. Or the milk in the tall glass. Or even Bluebird's magic trick. <laughs> or, or, um, I'm not a giant, am I? No, I haven't grown at all, have I? Sorry, Raggles. That's the cap I made for Archie. Never mind, Raggles. I used to be short, like the little acorns here. Whee! Whee! Oh, it's okay, Oakley. I'll never be big and tall like you. It's fine. Quick! Help! Come quickly! Archie's fallen down here. Down the gap! And he can't get out. I'm stuck. Poor oh, Archie! No, no, he's quite fun down here. There's a cool echo. But you can't stay down there forever. Don't worry, Archie. I'll get you out. Oh, oh no. I'm too big and I can't reach down. Me neither. That's why I came for help. Too big as well. Oh, it looks a bit scary down there. Let me try. I might be small enough to squeeze in, or part of me at least. <coughs> Nearly there, Archie. Hold on to my foot. My hero! The only one who could save me. <laughs> I suppose being small isn't so bad. I like being the way I am. I like you the way you are, too. Thanks for letting me borrow your cap, Will. And this is for you, Archie. Thank you, Holly. I think I will save it for special occasions. I like being just the way I am, too. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, I've decided I'm really happy being small. That's funny, because you're actually very tall now. Am I? How come? Look! Wow! Look at me! I'm a giant! Woohoo! <laughs> ah, what a wonderful day, Raggles. Uh-oh. Raggles? What's wrong? Nurse Holly is on her way here. Don't let her wrap me in bandages again, or stick plasters on my knees again, or make me go, ah, uh, again. <laughs> <laughs> Poor 
poor you, Raggles. It's all right, Will. I'm here. Now, where does it hurt? Oh, no need to fuss, Holly. I'm fine. Loves being a nurse, doesn't she, Raggles? Oh no! She's coming this way! <laughs> oh. No yo yo until you're better, Raggles. And no hopping either, please. Okay, Nurse Holly. <laughs> you really are getting good at this pretend nursing, Holly. Thanks, Rosie. But I really wish it wasn't pretend. I wish I could have a proper patient. Someone to really take care of. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, little sunflower. Don't be so sad. Whoops, sorry. Great save, Big Bear. Hmm. Don't you think you should go easy on those things, Will? You might get hurt. <laughs> oh, no way. I'm going to set a new record. The fastest time ever from Oakley's Hill to Rosie's Playhouse. Do you want to watch me do it? Um, no thanks. I've, um, got something else to do. I'm worried about my sunflower. I can't get it to stop drooping. I hope it's all right. Hmm. You should show it to Rosie. She'll know what to do. Let's go. I can practice my moves. Hey! Whoop! Whoop! I'm here. Fine! I'm fine! Oh, I thought you could be Nurse Holly's first proper patient. I'm sure I'll find one somewhere. <sighs> um, Rosie, for Holly to have a real patient, someone needs to get hurt or get sick. Yes, and that's the last thing Holly would want. We are okay. All better. But, Holly, there's nothing wrong with my nose. There might be later. Noses are funny things. Oh! Ow! Ow! My nest! It's broken! You're not hurt, are you, Bluebird? I'm not, but just look at my nest! That's a relief. But if you were hurt, I'd be sure to look after you. <sighs> I'll never be a proper nurse, because there's no one to take care of. Hello? Rosie? Raggles? Oh, they're not in. They're going up Oakley's Hill. Great! They can watch me break my speed record. <laughs> oh, careful, Big Bear! <sighs> uh, Raggles, do you see what I see? <laughs> oh, get me out! 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 It's okay, Bluebird. I've got you. Is everything all right, Holly? I know it's a good thing no one's been hurt, but I still want to look after someone and make them better, just like a proper nurse. <sighs> Everyone knows if they do get hurt, Nurse Holly is here waiting to help them with her plasters and bandages. <laughs> yes, I suppose so. Fine! Yes! No 
not a scratch. <sighs> yes! Made it! <sighs> Maybe you should practice a bit more before you try to break your speed record, Will. No need. Get ready to time me. Hello, Big Bear. Hello, Rosie. I need your help. My sunflower is all floppy and sad. Can you make it happy again? Have you tried watering it, Big Bear? Oh, yes. Lots of water. Hmm. I see. Have you kept it in the sun? Oh, yes. Lots of sun. Yay! Maybe it needs something to hold it up. It is quite a big flower. That's it. Raggles, you've done it again. I have? Yes. This flower needs help. It needs proper nursing. What? Nursing? Yes, yes, it needs my help. Oh, thanks, Nurse Holly. And thanks to Nurse Holly, my nest is feeling much better too. <laughs> At last, Nurse Holly's got something to look after. Things have to be cared for too. Okay, everyone, let's do a countdown. Ready with the stopwatch, Big Bear? I, um, um... Are you sure about this, Will? <laughs> Go on, Will! You will be careful, won't you? Three, two, one... Give it plenty of rest. Thanks, Nurse Holly. <sighs> well, what do you think you're doing? Just going to break the speed record. Then I'll rest. No rollerblades until that thumb's better, I'm afraid. Hmm. I can see I'm really going to have to look after you. Looks like Nurse Holly got her proper patient after all. It's good to know Holly is around to help us out, isn't it, Rosie? Yes. Yes, I suppose so, Raggles. I mean, you never know when you need a bandage or a plaster, eh, Rosie? <laughs> <sighs> no, Raggles, you never know. <laughs> so are you going to give me a hand getting out of Holly's bandages then, Raggles? Hmm, I might just go and ask Will if I can borrow his rollerblades just until his thumb's better. Ha ha, Raggles. Hey, come back and unwrap these bandages. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rosie, here goes. What's he doing, Rosie? We'll ask him. Will! Wait! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> hey! Slow down! Never mind them, Rosie. Follow that ghost beater. Oh, hello there, Will. It's a lovely day, Will. <sighs> Hi, Will. 
We were calling you. Why didn't you stop? Eh? Oh, I'm a bit busy. Sorry. Are you looking for something? Biscuits? To go in your biscuit tin? I'm looking for the perfect spot to put my time capsule. What's a time capsule? I'm going to fill this tin with things and bury it really deep in the ground. Great! Why? So people will find it a long, long time in the future. But first I've got to find the right place to put it. You could ask Oakley. He knows more about the garden than anyone. Oh, thanks, Rosie. Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> You're it! <laughs> This game has been going on too long. Let's stop playing and take it easy. I will, if Bluebird does. <laughs> <laughs> it! <laughs> oh, this is fascinating. A time capsule. I need a nice, quiet spot to bury it. Do you know anywhere, Oakley? Here, right here. Um, we would need to dig a hole. And it might tickle your roots. I don't mind. Among my roots is the perfect place for a time capsule. It just feels right somehow. <laughs> oh, yay! Thanks! <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, quizzes! <laughs> if Manny comes, you haven't seen me. What's this about a time capsule? What things will you put in it, Will? I'm not sure yet, but there'll be interesting things, important things. Can we put things in it too? Yes, I suppose so. Come on, let's find something. Oh, I've got lots of interesting things. <laughs> Me too. Hmm, I wonder what I could put in the time capsule. Don't worry, Oakley. You'll think of something. Oh, this is silly. It's only a game. Only a game? I knew it. You want Bluebird to win. Can't chat. I'm finding important things for a time capsule. Ah, sounds like a good time to finish the game. Now, shake wings nicely. It! <laughs> the best bird won! Oh! I want to put in this picture I painted. There's me and there's Raggles. I'm putting in my turbo racing car. <laughs> what about you, Raggles? Um, my second best kite. My frying pan. I've made many a tasty pancake with this. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, as long as that's the last thing. This was my first violin. Can I put it in the time capsule, please? Um, that might be a problem. People of the future shall know of Bluebird, finest nest builder ever, ever, in the whole garden, ever. Um, Bluebird? Oh. <laughs> But my kite's more interesting than Rosie's painting. Nothing's more interesting than my nest. I'll just pick the most interesting thing for the capsule. My car. <sighs> Not fair. If we choose small things that are important to us, everyone can put something in. Okay, but hurry up so we can bury it. That's the fun bit. You've been around longer than anyone. You must have something for the capsule. I wish I did, Bluebird, but... Sorry, I've got to teach a bird a lesson. Oh. Oh, I'm so tired. Ha! But it was worth it to see the look on Bluebird's face. <laughs> it! 
Now the best bird really has one. Oh, stop this ridiculous game right now. Fine. As long as we agree, I won. What? What? We'll say you both won. Come on, let's all find things for the time capsule. Small, but still turbocharged. One of my favourite buttons. That's my second best yo-yo. I made this bracelet. Bye, bracelet. Lovely idea, Holly. And I made this bear. <laughs> it's me. Feather. Bottle top. Good. Everyone's put something in. Except me. There's still room for your special thing. Oh. <sighs> But I can't think of one, Holly. Uh, what about a leaf? Leaves don't last very long, Raggles. Oh, I know. A twig. Thanks, Holly. But I don't think a twig is special enough. Oh, the people of the future won't find anything special from me. Um, can we dig the hole now? Oh, what was that? It's a box. Let's open it. Oh, oh. Good. Something's fallen out. Look. Quick, catch that piece of paper. It's a photograph. A very, very old photograph. That looks like Oakley's Hill. But where's Oakley? Ahem. <clears throat> May I have a look? <gasps> it's Oakley. Look! Yes, that's me. When I was very young, many, many years ago. Oh, dear me, I'd forgotten all about that. Now I know what Oakley can put in the time capsule. Come on, you two. Make friends. Say cheese. <laughs> no, say Oakley. <laughs> Oakley! Look, Oakley, that's you years and years ago, and this is you now with all your friends. Let's put both photos in the time capsule. I've never been so proud in all my long years. Yes, you've grown from a skinny little tree to the biggest oak in the whole garden. <laughs> no, it's having all of you as my friends. That's why I'm so proud. It! <laughs> <laughs> Got you! <laughs> 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 Back, Rosie. Whoa! <laughs> Morning, Oakley. What shall I play with? My spinner or my yo yo? How about spin yo? <laughs> or yo spin? <laughs> Hi, Raggles. The twit is all yours. Yay! I get to drive today. Oh, how exciting. Hey, check out my ghost speeder. I've given it a mega wash. Then I polished all the shiny bits. It took ages, but it's worth it. My ghost speeder never lets me down. 
Oh, I wish I had something of my own to drive. Sorry, Raggles. There's only one ghost speeder. I've got it! To Big Bear's Den! Hold on tight, Rosie! Hi, Big Bear. Hi, Rosie. Hi, Raggles. Sorry, I can't stop. Holly wants to meet me at the showground. Can I borrow Little Bear's scooter, please? Um, uh, well, yes. It's in the potting shed. Can I use those cardboard boxes as well? Yep, OK. Uh, must go. Holly said it was urgent. So is this. Dancing is one of my favourite things in the whole world. Only one thing could make it even more fun. A steaming mug of Big Bear's special marshmallowy hot chocolate. <laughs> even better than that, someone to dance with. Um, that's not why you asked me to come, is it, Holly? Of course. Oh, I'm not sure about this. You'll have great fun. I'll show you. You'll be as graceful as a swan. Um, maybe I need a bit more practice before being your partner, Holly. doing in there? Hmm. Ta-da! Wow! Raggles! <laughs> you may have a ghost speeder under Twitter, but I've got my very own train! Hmm. There's still something missing, though. Bus stop! The Playhouse! Ooh. <laughs> Now you're a real train driver. Not yet, Rosie. I need to find my driver's cap first. Now, where is it? Why don't you try... Sorry, Rosie. Can't stop to chat. Mustn't keep my passengers waiting. I'm putting up a sign so my passengers will know where the station is. This is Oakley Doakley Town. So who's going to get on board? <laughs> I'd like to, Raggles, but I'm afraid I'm stuck here in Oakley Doakley Town. I need to go to the picnic area to look for shiny things. Hmm. Great! Have a ticket. It's just me. Chuff, 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 clickety clap. Chuff, 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 chuff. Ooh. Chuff, 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 clickety clack, clickety clack. And you promise I don't have to put on a girly costume? No pom poms or streamers. Or... I promise. Let's get started. I'll show you. <laughs> no need. You've seen me play hockey. I'm ace on the ice. <laughs> Dancing's a bit different, Will. Let's try a spin. Check this out! Hooray! <laughs> Very good, Will. You just need a little more control. Let's try again. No, thanks. <laughs> Rosie, I know how much you love dancing. Hmm. Chuff, 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 chuff. There! Munch Burley Station. 
what do you think of that, Bluebird? You finally got here, then. But how did you get there? Wing Power. Sorry, Raggles. Your train was just too slow for a speedy bird like me. Excuse me. Oh. Could you take us home on your train? It's such a long walk. All aboard! <laughs> this stop is Hollyland and Willville. Um, Will, what are you doing? Trains need tracks, Raggles. Ahem. You will be stopping at the stony seating area, won't you? Of course. After the playground, the orchard and Big Bear's Den. Can't you take us straight home? Sorry, trains have to follow the tracks. That's it. We're getting off. What? Things to do, people to see. Wait! Come back! Oh. oh what's the point of being a train driver without any passengers? Great, Rosie. Oh. You'll get faster. You just need more oh. practice. <sighs> but you're so fast and so good. I'm sorry, Holly. I can't keep up with you. Oh, I don't think I'll ever find anyone to dance with. Are you okay, Will? I am, but Raggles is sad. No one wants to ride on his train. Hmm, maybe we can help him and Holly. Come with me. Two tickets to the showground, please. Oh, you don't have to pretend to be passengers just for me. I hope this train is running on time. This is a super urgent journey. Oh. Ooh, Raggles! You're the only one who hasn't tried to dance with me. We're all going to dance with you. What? Put these on. You'll need your cap and your whistle. Start skating, Holly. Nice and slow. Now you hold on to Holly's waist, and I'll hold on to you. All aboard! Chuff, 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 there's only one thing even better than dancing on ice with a friend. Dancing with all your friends. <laughs> Next stop, Slippery Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Rosie, what would you drive if you could drive anything? Maybe a balloon. No, a racing car. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> I'd make a great airline pilot. It's easy. You only stop once at the end, and you get lots of yummy snacks on the way. <laughs> the passengers get the snacks, Raggles, not the pilot. Oh. But I saved a slice of toast just for you. <laughs> If everyone donates their favourite book, then others can borrow them and read them too. Great! I'll go and find my super speed annual. Everyone should definitely read that. And I'll go and tell everyone about the library. <gasps> my little beehive keyring. It's gone. That one 
looks like an angry bear. And that one looks a bit like you, Oakley. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. I've come to tell you all about my new library. If everyone brings their favourite book, I'll put it in the library so others can borrow it. That's a wonderful idea, Holly. Let's go and get our books now, Raggles. Oh, but you don't have a book, do you, Oakley? No, but why don't you all do a show and tell before bed and tell me why you like your favourite books so much? That's a great idea. Come on, Raggles. I'll go and tell Will about tonight. Bye, Oakley. My Dancing Dolphins book. It's my favourite. Uh, Rosie, this book's got nothing in it. Oh, that's my scrapbook. I really must find something to put in it. Oh, I'm never going to find a book to put in Holly's library. What am I going to talk about tonight? Why don't you write a new story? Oh, of course! That's exactly what I'll do. I'm going to write the best book ever. Great! I'll leave you to it. I'll go and read my book at the picnic area. I've almost finished my story, so there's time for a quick go on the go speeder. Looks just like the one in my book. Holly! Holly! Hello, Big Bear. Do you like my lavender posy? Oh, it's lovely. But I've lost my beehive key ring. I've had it ever since I won first prize for my honey. Oh, it's really special. Will you help me look for it, please? Of course I will. Once upon a time, there was a rabbit called Raggles. He couldn't pick which book to put in the library, so he tried to think up a story of his own. But he couldn't think of one. Oh. <laughs> Everyone has finished already. I'm never going to be able to think of a good story. Maybe Safi can help. What's troubling you, Raggles? I'm trying to write a book for Holly's library. I thought I could do it, but oh, I just can't think of anything to write about. Inspiration is all around you, if you look for it. Really? All around me? Oh, brilliant! Thanks, Safi! You're welcome, Raggles. Look for inspiration. It's all around me. But where is it? Maybe it's under here. Or here. Hmm. Strange. Someone must have dropped it. What an amazing car. No good. I just can't do it. I can't write a story. And I won't have anything to talk about at the show and tell. Oh, pretty. Yes, thanks. I just sat on something uncomfortable. And I still can't find anything to write a story about. 
Oh, Raggles. Safi said inspiration is all around me if I look for it. But I have everywhere. And I can't see it. Maybe Safi's right. Look. We're going to make a book, Raggles. But what will I put in it? You're going to use the things you found to help you think of a story. Let's start with this. Now, think of something that goes with the car. Uh, once upon a time, there was a boy called Will who was mad about going fast. Good start. <laughs> I think I might be able to do this, Rosie. <laughs> because flowers provide food for insects and they can cheer people up. And that's why everyone should borrow my flower book from the library. Hooray! Hooray! Yay! Oh, thank you, Holly. It sounds like a lovely book. And now it's time for Reggles to tell us about his book. Um, uh, this book is a bit different. I made it myself. Oh, that's my picture. This book is made with things I found around the garden. If they belong to anyone and you want them back, just say. Let's hear the story first. Yes. Carry on, Reggles. We want to hear. Once upon a time, there was a boy called Will who loved to go fast. Vroom, vroom. That's me. One day, his friend Rosie was collecting a jar of honey from Big Bear's beans when a cheeky rabbit ran off with it. <gasps> Will picked Rosie up in his super fast Speedatron 3000 and they chased the rabbit to the lake. There, they found their friend Holly picking pretty flowers for her picture frame. That's my posy. I thought I'd lost it. Rosie and Will arrived, but the cheeky rabbit hopped into a boat and sailed off with the honey. But Holly knew just what to do. With a special whistle, she called her friend Daisy Dolphin. Hooray! <laughs> Rosie and Will jumped onto her back and with a flick of her tail, they gave chase. Finally, the cheeky rabbit stopped at the riverbank and there were all of Will and Holly's friends. The cheeky rabbit had arranged a surprise picnic, complete with delicious honey sandwiches for everyone to share. <laughs> the end. <gasps> That's my beehive key ring. You found it. Oh, yay! <laughs> Here you go, Big Bear. No. You keep it. But your key ring is really precious. I know, but it's even more precious as part of your story. OK, I'll put the book in Holly's library so everyone can borrow it and see their things whenever they want. I think we should call it The Book of Lost and Found. Which book did you pick from the library, Raggles? Oh, it looks really good. What did you pick? I'm going to dream about surprise picnics and riding on the back of a dolphin. Keep a lookout for cheeky rabbits. <laughs> There's only one cheeky rabbit I have to look out for. <laughs> oh.